Hey, what's up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this tutorial, let's look at some clinching takedowns for jiu-jitsu. So check it out. All right, so clinching to the body is a very effective method of taking the opponent down. So what are we talking about? Sport jiu-jitsu, also for self-defense on the street, okay? We can use it for both, all right? So the first thing I want you guys to understand is I need to be able to bring my hands around Alex's waist as such. This is going to be my body clinch right here. So I need to bring my seatbelt grip here behind his back, or I can go palm to palm here on either side. Sometimes some, someone's very wide, you're going to go S grip, okay? But preferably seatbelt control is going to be good for you because that way there you can sink your elbows tight against his waistline. But in order to do so, I need to be able to close the distance, okay? So for example, right now, Alex is with a right lead as well as I am. So this, what I need to do now is close the gap, all right? I want to be able to bridge my hips and get them as close as possible so that way there I don't overextend myself to get the body clinch, all right? So for example, if I was standing here now, this would be too far out. If I were to step in for a clinch, look, I'm really off balance right now. I can't reach his waist. Even if I did reach the waist, my back trailing leg brings me off balance. I have no power. I need to bring both feet and my hips underneath my body, my upper body, in order to have strength for the upper body clinch. So what I'm going to do now, sometimes you'll be in a perfect range to make one step. Other times, you're going to use what we call a little shuffle step or a stutter step. So it's the back leg is going to push in the front leg. So if I'm a little bit further out, this foot is going to reach and replace this one right here. Okay? So now we're going to use this to close the distance. And usually when you want a body clinch, it's going to be when someone's standing upright, all right? Their hands are not too close together. Elbows are wide, right? More of a judo stance, waiting to get some grips on your collar. Or if it was a street situation, maybe his hands are up very high like this. And there's a big opening right here between the elbows. I wouldn't use the upper body clinch if someone's crouching in a wrestling stance, in staggered stances, as well as elbows in as a T-Rex, all right? So now, if you see this opening right here, that is a great opportunity to do this type of body clinch, all right? So the first thing is closing the distance. What we're gonna do is just practice this, and this is a great drill to do with your right lead and just step it in here. And you do this for a few reps, you change the level, just like you're shooting in for a double leg takedown, but instead of catching the legs, you're just gonna wrap around the waistline, all right? Now, if I were to stand with a left lead, I am in the same side as Alex now, what I need to do is step in. So if I step in here, my head's gonna stay on the inside. Boom, from here. But it's an awkward stance. So now what I'm gonna do is make a big step with the right foot and change my lead from here, see? And close the distance. Every time I come inside the body clinch, my hips have to follow my upper body. Make sure you don't clinch having this position right here. You need to bring your hips in tight and that way there, you can have a good control on the upper body. Now, let's look at a very easy takedown from here. What I wanna do once I've been practicing this to step in, is clinch, and now from here, I wanna use my shoulder to drive his body weight back and use my wrist, my seatbelt grip, and fold his lower body. So I want Alex's body to lean this way, all right? So once I have this clinch now, what's going to happen is I'm gonna press with the right shoulder, deep drive with my wrist bone here on the lower back, and now he's gonna be off balance weight is gonna fall behind and take a big step over with the left foot and I'll land inside the mount position. All right, this is a very easy self-defense style takedown, but also very effective for competitions. So now once you're used to this, you guys can even drill it for a self-defense situation where maybe the hands are up like this. And now what you wanna do is step it in. So you wanna tap this, maybe it shows a slow right jab here and then you get into this clinch position. All right, and you do this for a few repetitions to get comfortable against a fighting situation. And other times, if you have a right lead here, you can also do the same thing. See, just push a jab, and now you can also put your head on the shoulder and make sure you clinch against the waistline. Now, when you wanna do this for sport jiu-jitsu, of course, nobody's gonna be striking you, so the hands are gonna be just like this. Once again, the body's upright. So what we can do is just tap the hand on the outside. Wait for the grip. He's gonna try to grab your collar, push the grip away, enter here on the outside, all right? Now, what you don't want to do is clinch with the hips out, as I mentioned earlier, but also is upper body clinch and have your shoulder away from your jawline like this, all right? Because once I enter in this fashion, 
I'm very susceptible right now to a guillotine choke. Look, right here, see? And now I'm gonna be forced to tap. So what you wanna do when you clinch is be aware of this, keep the head tight, keep the ear against his body right here, and try to bring your head up in an upright fashion. And you're also gonna use this arm. Your shoulder is almost covering your neck. All right, so look, when I close the gap here, boom. Now if he goes for the guillotine, uh-uh, not happening, nothing there. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna take a big step with my left foot, fold him forward, and look, boom. And from here, into the mount, and now I can start my attacks. All right, we're gonna look at the second one. Now Alex is gonna demonstrate, so I'm gonna have an upright position here. Elbows are wide, okay? Now as he closes the distance and clinches to the body, all right? A lot of times the opponent might try to resist. All right, so what are they gonna do? They're gonna start to press, they're strong, and you find that you can't fold the body, right? He's trying to fold me in this direction, but I have strong hips, strong back, so what he's gonna do is disengage and just push and shuck the arm across so now he can go behind me. And this is why I like the body clinch because it brings you into a perfect position where you have a good angle behind the opponent now. Now from this position here, let's walk here, Alex. What's gonna happen, he wants to make me fall where I don't have a base. Right now my base is forcing here. If he tries to make me fall in this direction, I'm always gonna be fighting in this direction. But in this direction, I don't have my feet. My idea usually when I'm stuck here is gonna be to try to break the grip here. Notice how he's holding to the side. It's harder to break the grip when it's around the waistline than it is when it's in the front like this, okay? So look, what he's going to do is just extend his foot behind my leg and now trip me over. So he's gonna go one, and from here, look, gets the side control position, or he can also transfer into the mount. So now I'll show you from this angle now. So let's say we're fighting here. I have an upright position. He clinches, closes the distance to the body. Now I have a strong back. It's hard for him to fold me in this direction. He's gonna shuck the arm, make a big step around me, and now he has the waist control for here. This is what we call a tight waist control. The elbows are tight against the hips, and look, Watch from this view here. He's gonna extend one leg, drop his hips, and score the takedown, and now he has the side control position. Now every time you're gonna be practicing these techniques, there's gonna be many variations to finish, but the idea is to be able to close the distance quickly. All right, so sometimes you can practice right to right. Okay, just stepping in here, and other times practice left to left, stepping in here. Other times, if Alex has a right lead as well, okay, now I have to step and big step on this side before I step in and vice versa. Practice these reps so that way there you're familiar with your opponent's stance. And don't force your stance to be changed. If you're used to shooting in with the left lead, keep that left lead open for yourself. Always practice all of your techniques depending on how your opponent's gonna be standing, all right? So let's go back to a regular right to right lead. This time, as his body's upright, and I close the gap here. What's gonna happen now, a lot of times when I wanna fold him or even go to the back, he's gonna sprawl his hips out. So he starts to sprawl here. That forces the separation between our hips. All right, so now what I want you to do from here is just cup the near side leg where your head is. So from here, look, let go of the seat belt, keep controlling the waist on this side, but cup his knee right here. Now it's gonna force his weight to drive on the opposite side when I bring my steps in, see? Now I step it in. And now from here, my right foot's gonna go behind his leg and trip him over. And now from here, I'm gonna start preparing my guard passes. So once more, close the gap from here. Now he starts to sprawl. So now you have to disengage the first technique, go to the second, but bring your hips with you. As I go in, see, look, I drive my hips in. I need to bring my hips as tight as possible underneath his. See, I go one, and then from here, Trap him from here. Now, you can go guard passing techniques. So I like the staggered stance. Remove some sweeping options. Or other times when he falls down, you have a leg option where immediately fall into a footlock. All right, the last variation we're gonna show you, once again, from the body lock, body clinch here, one. Now, once again, the second technique we showed you was going to the back. This time, the person starts to resist and he can't fool me but what he's going to do now is use the lead leg and hook my lead leg, so right to right, and drive his shoulder onto my stomach and make me lose the balance from here. Notice how he's holding the leg? Every time someone falls from here, they're gonna try to fight out. 
If my leg is up in the air, that's very challenging for me to do. And now he's going to control the position and there, pass the guard. So let's take a look from this angle. So Alex shoots into the body, one. Now notice how now I try to bring my hips back. So my weight is going onto his shoulder, but that's going to help him get that momentum to bring his body straight and also hook the lead leg with his right foot from here. Score the takedown and pass. All right, guys, so there you have it. Some body clinching takedown techniques you can use for jiu-jitsu or self-defense. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave us a thumbs up, and we'll catch you next video. Take care.